guys just taking it out of the cup i can smell this fragrance already and it's just so intoxicating guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time of stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we'll talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like please click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be talking about the ultimate clean girl aesthetics perfume and the most beautiful thing about this perfume is that it is very very affordable the perfume i'll be talking about is white tea by elizabeth arden i've talked about this perfume a couple of times on my channel mentioned it in some hauls underrated perfume haul affordable perfume haul and some other perfume hauls that i've talked about on my channel whenever i talk about this perfume i'm always getting comments about the longevity you know more details about it and then i'm like you know what let me do a full and detailed review for you guys because truly this perfume deserves a full and detailed review on my channel so if you want to know my thoughts on white tea by elizabeth arden then keep watching so let's start with the packaging of this fragrance this is what the packaging looks like it comes in this all white slim long packaging with the name elizabeth arden white tea written on it so this is an eau de toilette spray 100 ml 3.3 fluid ounce I'm sure a lot of people get turned off whenever they hear a perfume is an eau de toilette. To me, I don't mind. I don't know if you can see from the light, it has like these flowery details on it that is kind of goldish. And then at the back, you have the ingredients of the fragrance. It's just a simple, plain, pretty white packaging. It comes in this tall white bottle that is white at the top and then down here is kind of transparent it's nothing fancy it's just giving me elegant packaging the cap is actually plastic but it's a little sturdy and strong and then it has this gold sprayer so that's just basically the bottle of this fragrance it's just giving me elegant tall white glass of fragrance bottle you guys just taking it out of the cup, I can smell this fragrance already and it's just so intoxicating. It's not the best atomizer ever, but it's okay, we can still work with that. So the main accords of this fragrance are aromatic green, marine, iris, woody, fresh spicy, fresh, powdery, earthy and citrus. The fragrance is described as a woody floral musk fragrance for women. So this is classified as a feminine perfume. The top notes are sea notes, fern, mandarin orange, and clary sage. Middle notes are white tea, white iris, and mint. Base notes are exotic woods, ambrette, musk mallow, tonka bean, and amber. For a fragrance like this that smells very simple, it has a lot of notes. See here guys, this fragrance is very calming just imagine you in your very relaxed state it just literally feels like a zen fragrance a very relaxing calming fragrance so this fragrance opens with a soft fluffy muskiness that smells very pretty and elegant and then the tea notes start to shine in i understand why this fragrance is called white tea like the name describes it perfectly because it's a very calming clean tea scent the tea note comes in as very soft clean and refined also this fragrance has white iris in it iris makes fragrances very powdery it comes off as very cuddly very cozy i get a little bit of creaminess in the undertones of this fragrance and that musk mallow that's the amber gives it this fluffiness almost feels like marshmallow i don't know whether musk mallow is like the sister of marshmallow but you can tell that this fragrance has this fluffiness in it this fragrance is very pretty soft and fluffy it literally gives me clean girl aesthetics like this is the queen of clean girl aesthetics the major notes to my nose are the white tea the white iris and the musk mallow and then a little bit of some florals floating around the fragrance just imagine 
everything soft and pretty that's literally what this fragrance smells like this is one fragrance that people would get intoxicated by i would describe this fragrance as small but mighty because it's not doing too much but at the same time it will captivate people intoxicate people every single time i wore this fragrance people ask me what are you wearing like you smell so good because it smells very pretty very soft this literally is your soft girl era perfume if you're in your soft girl era you should have this in your collection because it is so so beautiful you can literally wear this fragrance to bed you can wear it to stay at home you can wear it on a rainy day this would be a perfect work scent for people that work in hospitals you can even make it your signature scent this fragrance has medium projection with minimum of 12 hours longevity it creates a very beautiful scent bubble around you that people would love to smell and the most beautiful thing about this fragrance is that it's very very affordable then it was selling for like 11k 15k highest i don't know how much it's selling for now but compared to other designer fragrances this is still very affordable i know elizabeth arden to make fragrances that are very affordable i have a few of her fragrances in my collection i even did a haul of all elizabeth arden perfumes for people that need an affordable designer fragrance brand you can splurge on if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it up here elizabeth arden has fragrances in all fragrance families so if you love the gourmands there's a gourmand for you if you love wood there's wood for you if you love the uh, florals there's floral for you whatever is your preference i'm sure you're going to see an elizabeth arden perfume for you but trust me when i say this no matter how much of woody person you are or a floral person you are you would still appreciate this fragrance because i don't think anybody will smell this and not love it so that's my thoughts on elizabeth arden white tea have you tried this fragrance before have you tried any fragrance from elizabeth arden let me know in the comment section what you think about it what's your favorite elizabeth arden perfume or what's that affordable perfume that keeps you on your toes and blows your mind i would love to know your thoughts in the comment section unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop your sense of the day in the comment section i would love to connect with you in the comment section thank you guys for tuning into bella's perfume diaries i'll be seeing you on my next episode bye Basics, my lace is stronger Too much on my mind, I know that This ain't no stone